Top 25 RF Engineer Interview Questions and Answers RF engineering is considered a sub-branch of electrical engineering. Experts in this field are referred to as radio frequency engineers. They play a considerable role in radio, television, and the military. Owing to the popularity and necessity of their roles, the demand for RF engineers has skyrocketed in the recent past. Therefore, you must prepare well before stepping into an RF engineering interview room to increase your chances of landing the job. In this article, we look at some of the commonly asked interview questions in RF engineering interviews. Let's dive right into it. 1. Why are you interested in this role? Sample answer. I interned at your firm during my last year of college and have always wanted to come back. This place gave me a strong foundation that has seen me through my career. I also love your performance over the years and believe that I can use all the skills I have gathered to better most of the operations here and drive in more profits. 2. What are the roles of an RF engineer? Sample answer. An RF engineer collects data, researches radio frequency, and analyzes different sets of information to improve the radar system. He or she is exposed to intelligence sensors, surveillance radars, radio waves, over-the-horizon radar, cellular components, and radio waves. 3. What are some of the qualities that an RF engineer needs to be effective? Sample answer. Like any engineering role, an RF engineer needs to be a good communicator. He or she should be able to relay information clearly to all the team members and stakeholders. An RF engineer should also be a good problem solver and troubleshooter, given the nature of the job at hand. Other qualities include the ability to teamwork and excellent analytical skills. 4. What major challenge did you face during your last role? How did you manage it? Sample answer. I last worked in a small radio station. It was thoroughly understaffed and lacked some vital equipment. I could not put up a good team and ended up shouldering 70% of projects, which proved overwhelming. I arranged a meeting with the human resource manager and convinced him that the projects would end faster and we would achieve better results if we engaged more employees. He consulted with the top management and I had two new team members by the end of the week. 5. Describe your daily routine as an RF engineer. Sample answer. I report to the office early and check if all the RF systems are functional and well updated. The remainder of the day is spent designing electrical circuits that support the RF systems, making field measurements on RF systems using electronic test equipment, and working on different analytical calculations. I also take some time to write reports capturing the significant events of the day, improved parts, and some of the systems that need attention. 6. Describe briefly about your RF engineering experience. Sample answer. I have worked in over three stations in my seven years of experience. At my first station, I was in charge of enhancing the performance of the present wireless networks, a role that turned out to be an eye-opener. I later joined Easy FM, where I gained lots of expertise in designing new wireless network RF plans. This prepared me for the telecom company and my primary role. I joined Air Telcos, where I was appointed to be the chief RF engineer, in charge of a team of 15 engineers. I spent two years which taught me a lot about management and supervision. It greatly taught me leadership and responsibility. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? Sample answer, RF engineering requires lots of project work given the technicality involved. The strategy that has seen me succeed over the years is teamwork. It ensures that work is performed faster and accurately. Also, it brings together different people thus promoting the exchange of ideas. As for the right mindset, this job requires someone who is result-oriented. This has helped me meet the project deliverables in most of the projects that I have undertaken. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? Sample answer. I'd like to commend the outgoing RF engineer on the excellent job he has done with the company. I have been reading your company's monthly journal for some time now, and his work is impressive. Therefore, the biggest challenge comes in filling the gap that he has left, given that he has set the bar high for RF engineers. However, I believe that I am well suited for this job and will use all the skills I have acquired together with the available resources to serve the company well. 9. How do you stay motivated at work? Sample answer. I love what I do, which gives me the needed push in my everyday work. I also believe in diligence and punctuality. Therefore, I always set personal deadlines, which I strive to meet, 
on top of those created by the company. I am a go-getter who never stops until I get whatever I set out to. I also meditate daily, which has boosted my focus and outlook on life. 10. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. Sample answer. One of my biggest failures happened in the early part of my career. It even made me rethink if I wanted to continue being an RF engineer. I was a junior engineer at a local radio station in town. I was not a good communicator then, and part of my assignment involved teamwork. I poorly relayed information, which my team members relied on and messed up. I was heavily reprimanded. However, I learned the importance of communication and have since worked to be an excellent one. I am glad to report that this has never been an issue again. 11. What do you understand by RF engineering? Sample answer. RF engineering or radio frequency engineering is part of electrical engineering focused on devices operating in the radio frequency spectrum. It covers devices in the range of 3KHC to 300 GHz. You will find concepts of RF engineering in everything that transmits and receives radio waves, including radios, mobile phones, Wi-Fi, and two-way radios. 12. What is radio frequency energy? Sample answer. It is electromagnetic energy that is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It is made up of microwaves, white light, x-rays, and several energy emissions. Also known as RF emissions, this electromagnetic energy is generated when a source current is fed to an antenna, where electrons are excited, resulting in an outward surge of electricity in the form of an electromagnetic wave. 13. Could you please mention some of the known benefits and uses of radio frequency? Sample answer. One of the significant benefits of radio frequency energy is the provision of radio communication services to different parties, be it the government, the public, and different industries. It is also applied in radio and television broadcasting, cell phones, radio, weather radar, and satellite communications. RF is also used in non-communication applications, such as industrial heating and microwave ovens. 14. What are some of the things that one should expect to find at a radio communication and broadcasting installations? Sample answer. Radio communication and broadcasting installations have radio transmitters and receivers, antennas, transmission lines, and an array of supporting structures. The transmitters generate RF signals which house and relays information to the receivers. The antennas transmit these signals before getting picked by the receivers, where the carried information is extracted. 15. What amount of radio frequency exposure is considered safe? Sample answer. Each state or country has its regulatory limits. Exposure to levels below that regulatory limit is usually considered safe. To arrive at these limits, scientists consider the lowest exposure level at which the potential harmful effects to humans occur and the safety factors surrounding exposure. These are done to protect the general public. 16. What is time averaging? How does it apply to exposure? Sample answer. The time-averaged maximum exposure limits are specified by different health guidelines to make even short time highs and lows of exposure intensity and thereby come up with an average time to be compared to the limit. Therefore, the averaging time refers to the period over which exposure is averaged and not the maximum allowed exposure time. It is possible to exceed the recommended exposure limit, albeit for a short period, provided that the average exposure over the averaging time does not exceed the limit. 17. Do you understand biological effect in RF engineering? How does it occur? Could you do the same for health effect? Sample answer. A biological effect happens when a given change can be measured in a biological system after a given stimulus, such as RF energy, has been introduced. However, observation of a biological system does not point to the existence of a health effect. A health effect, on the other hand, stems from the biological effect. A biological effect leads to a health effect if it leads to detectable health impairment. 18. Could you please mention some biological effects that are associated with exposure to radio frequency energy? Sample answer. Laboratory studies captured in scientific peer-reviewed works point to biological effects related to temperature changes, blood-brain barriers, calcium efflux, gene expression, and DNA damage. However, not all these are classified as health effects. Studies have also been done to establish whether RF energy can start and promote cancer. However, most of these studies have failed to link RF energy to DNA damage or the growth of cancerous cells. 19. How does one measure radio frequency? Sample answer. 
All electromagnetic waves, including radio waves, are measured by their wavelength and frequency. Wavelength refers to the distance of one complete electromagnetic wave cycle, whereas frequency is the number of electromagnetic waves in one second, often referred to as hertz. 1 Hc normally equals 1 cycle per second, whereas 1 MHz is equal to 1 million cycles per second. An example of a radio frequency that measures more than 1 GHz is microwaves. 20. Could you please tell us what a start meter is? Sample answer. Start meters can be defined as minicomputers in houses and business units. They usually communicate regularly with the utility and transmit meter information such as energy consumption, power spikes and outages, restoration messages, and several applications. These meters can collect and store interval data, as well as conduct remote service. Other abilities include receiving commands and interfacing with other devices, such as control systems and home area networks. 21. What is RFID? Sample answer. RFID is the short form of radio frequency identification, a term that refers to all the technologies that use radio waves to identify people and objects automatically. One of the commonest means of identification used by these technologies is storing a serial number on a microchip attached to the antenna to identify people and objects. The identification information is transmitted to a reader, which converts these radio waves. 22. How do you pick a frequency that is right for your application? Sample answer. Over the years that I have served as an RF engineer, I have learned that different frequencies have different characteristics that qualify them for different applications. Low frequency tags are normally cheaper than UHF tags and use less power, making them viable for penetrating non-metallic substances. UHF tags, on the other hand, offer a better range and can transfer data fast. They are best used for scanning goods. 23. What do you understand by active and passive tags in RF engineering? Sample answer. Active RFID tags come with a battery, which powers the microchip circuitry and broadcasts signal to a reader. A good example is how a cell phone transmits signals to a base station. On the other hand, passive tags have no battery, but get their power from the reader. 24. What is signal modulation? Sample answer. Signal modulation is the process of varying different characteristics of a radio wave with the transmitted information. These may include voice, pictures, and data. 25. Why should we give you this job out of all the applicants? Sample answer. I am passionate about this field. I always aim to improve constantly in this field. I also have vast experience in this field, which makes me the best candidate for this role given that this is a big company. Conclusion. These are some of the common RF engineering interview questions and answers that you will encounter in interviews. I hope that this article will help you craft your unique answers.